Hi guys, today we're going to think about how to find the area of rectilinear figures. Now, what is a rectilinear figure? Well, it is a shape whose corners are defined by these points in an xy coordinate frame. So take a very simple example. We've got a triangle here that is defined by the points A, B and C uh, that you can see there. So what we're trying to find is the area of that triangle. Now, how we're going to do this is going to appear quite complicated at first, but basically as you practice it two or three times, you'll see that it's really quite simple. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, the area is going to be defined as this. It's going to be a half of, I'm going to open this kind of straight line bracket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in the coordinates of A, B and C, but I'm going to enter them in as columns. So I'm going to take the coordinates of A there, and insert them as a column here. So one, three, that's my coordinates of A. And then I'm gonna take the coordinates of B, which is nine, one here, and I'm gonna insert them as a column uh, next. So that's nine, one there, right? So nine, one, that's the coordinates of B. And lastly, I'm gonna take the coordinates of C, three, eight, and enter them in as my last column here. I say last because actually there is one more column that I need to add. I need to repeat uh, the first column, uh, the, the elements for the, for the point A. So I repeat one, three there again. So just to clarify, what am I doing? I'm putting in the coordinates of the point A, B, and C, and then A again, okay, uh, into, this, uh, into this structure, okay? Now then. How am I going to progress from there? Well, uh, let me just delete these, these uh, colors there, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called the shoelace method. And, and what that involves is I'm gonna take these diagonals here, right? These diagonal, this diagonal, and this diagonal. I'm gonna multiply those numbers together, right? So I'm going to take one times one plus nine times eight, plus three times three. So I'm gonna get one plus nine times eight, which is um, 72, plus three times three, which is nine. So I've just added up those uh, multiples together, right? One times one, nine times eight, three times three, and I add them all up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the other diagonal. So three times nine, one times three, and eight times one. And I'm gonna add them up too. So three times nine is 27, three times one is three, and eight times one is eight, right? So you see what I've done there? Is I've taken the diagonals in blue, multiplied them together, added them up. I take the diagonals in green, multiply them together and add them up. And then lastly, I'm doing the subtraction, right? The, the green, uh, uh, the, the blue diagonals subtracted by the green diagonals. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, now I've just got to compute this, right? So a half of uh, 1 plus 72 is 73, plus 9 is 82. 27 plus 3 is 30, plus 8 is 38. So I'm going to get 82 minus 38. And 82 minus 38 is 44. Okay, and if I half that, I get 22. Okay. All right, so that does look super, super complicated, but in essence, it is, it is actually quite straightforward. You start with one corner of your, of your shape and you progress round, right, in a sort of anti-clockwise way, and you enter in the coordinates as columns into this structure here. So, so A, B, C, and then lastly, remember to repeat the first coordinates there at the end. Once you've done that, you take the diagonals, right? One and one, nine and eight, three and three. You multiply them together and you add them up. That's what you get here. And then you do the other diagonals, three and nine, one and three, eight and one. You multiply them together, add them up, and that's what you get there. And what you do is you then subtract the one set of diagonals from the other, okay? And once you do that, it's just addition and subtraction until you get your final answer in the end, 22. 
I'm sure that's probably going to seem very complicated to you, but I suggest to the students just try out the exercises in the book. It really is just repeating this method a few times. I think it won't take you too long to get the hang of it. Okay, take care and uh, I hope to see you again soon.